Okay, I kind of forgot to <laughs> look at the episode before. Um, moving on. But there you go. <laughs> There's, that's me in a nutshell. So, um, I've got some skill points. Let me see if I can use them in any way. Chaos needs some skill points, definitely. I'm eating orange, by the way, if you hear some <laughs> distressing sounds. Aha! Yeah. I could have lowered uh, the guy over to the back there, which would have helped. Although, I have Cosmos in here, so... Well, Cosmos is well suited to ravaging uh, these things, so it was really no problem whatsoever. It is a biosphere. Those are good to have. That means there should be some freshers down here as well. Sense in the uh, in the plot respects. Um, let's see, that's the guy did respond to that, didn't he? Well, whatever. We are, um. Uh, yeah, I see that. Oh, I see those guys there as well. Right. Well, I just want to show you this because I got some pretty big uh, point bonuses in this fight. It got both a 10 and a 4 multiplier, which means um, these are the points for um, beating 14 <laughs> uh, of these red max. You can see there, that's um, th 3 times 9, 27. Um, Well, not quite 30 points. Uh, let's see, that would probably be. Uh, yeah, two either points for every uh, one. For every one mech to uh, move over each. Yeah, I, I picked up a lot of points here, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, However, it was not quite so spectacular in hindsight as I uh, thought it would be. Oh. Okay, I see something to uh, do the other one. Oh, he found me. Um, check out the page really quick. By the way, uh, do you think I'm spending uh, a lot of <coughs> a lot of time on um, navigating the menus? I assure you that I think exactly the same for myself. All right, definitely leveling that up. That is. Possibly uh, <clears throat> the attack attack I will have most use of in the entire game. Okay, how am I doing my skill points? Maybe? No, not. Definitely not happening. Even if I have uh, that as uh, an accessory, I am learning it. Okay, maybe that 
download for now. Let's just um, carry on. Dude, that would just rule of him. <laughs> just staying out of the range of that trap like that. Um, I'm not a happy camper. That's very unpolite. No, I just want to show you something. Um, Chion just learned this shock blade attack. Uh, and um, yeah, by equipping different cartridges, this attack will give a different status effect. Uh, we're gonna come back to this because it's um, this is one of the game changer um, moves in the game. Uh, however, it's really not. Um, oh, I have to press the circle. <laughs> it's um, a very anonymous thing. Okay, so you can see here, slow against M type enemies. It means that uh, the mechs we're fighting, um, if you look at their portraits in the uh, um, turn window by the event slots, um, you'll, you'll see an M on uh, an emblazoned on their portraits. Um, those enemies will um, be hit with the uh, that is in these cartridges. Right. However, as I have not set that attack, you will not get to see it for some time yet. Um, let's see if I'm going now. Ah! Save point. I will save, thank you very much. direction you to pointing, Mr. Man? Well, spoilers, it's actually um, over this way, that at the uh, extreme south of the game, on the, uh, of the ship, of the Elsa, in the hangar. Mm. Now, pressing this one will uh, deactivate the... Uh, Funny sparkly things on the floor in the next room, which helps, which would mean that we need to first uh, the guys, the uh, mechs, I think, would also run around um, at their normal speeds, and um, yeah, it's really not a big fan. So let's go. Ah, so, hey, I just made a fantastic discovery. Um, Momo's full tempest attack strikes four out. It's these connects frightfully hard. Uh, I mean, uh, lots. Yeah, lots of damage. It hurts. And speaking of uh, hurting, um, I am personally uh, well. The characters I have are able to um, destroy these mechs. In the world. Okay, so now Homo is uh, essentially. Uh, at the same level as the other, he is now level 10. And uh, well, the others are around 10 or 11. So, yay. 
And uh, yeah, that, this was one of the uh, few transitions where uh, they just changed the camera angle without loading a new loop. Which means we are safe from respawning enemies. Um, well, for the moment. So, yeah, now I have to run all the way back. Oh, um, seeing as I have some uh, few moments of uh, not fighting, let me try to um, explain something else. Uh, the game soundtrack uh, was first released by this company called Digicube, and uh, then it was re-released by the composer's own studio that he set up. Um, for um, some reason or another. <laughs> uh, so there are two releases of the game soundtrack. They are quite different in their own way. Uh, but what, what I want to focus on here is um, they have this reputation of having a, uh, well, not the same recording quality. Okay, uh, yeah, I just lost having a guy here. Um, but I have actually bought uh, both releases of the soundtrack, so yeah, I have um, <laughs> I have bought this game soundtrack twice. Um, let me just see if there's anything up here first, actually. Let me the game. Soundtrack of two releases. One uh, has a uh, blue, well, mostly blue, kind of colorful uh, cover with a spherical design. Um, and yeah, this. Okay, let me just. Okay, I'll try to talk over the uh, fighting here. It would just get boring to watch me. Do nothing basically. Why are you doing this? Um, so, yeah, let me show you how we use it. Uh, sorry, just, uh, use it. There we go. That's a lot of damage and was not a one shot that killed. Bugger. Uh, yeah, the sound quality, um, actually, I. Personally, I can't really tell the difference, and I think that most of the tracks on the release are actually using the same uh, sound, well, the same sound files that they used for um, um, they used for uh, the Digi Cube release. But I, I was hoping for uh, well, you see. Uh, Many of the tracks on the Digi DigiCube release uh, exhibit clipping, which is, well, not a crime, but it's really not a good thing either. So I was hoping, well, I mean, yeah, this clipping is particularly apparent in the, the track titled Albedo. If you have the game soundtrack, you will know what I'm talking about, and, um, yeah. You will not think I'm being a, uh... Well... <laughs> Why an example of picture pointing it out? But there are a few other tracks as well where, where clipping occurs and... Uh, it's just... No fun, honestly, that it happens. I really wish that it hadn't happened, but, um... The sad thing is, we have clipping on the official release. So I was hoping that, uh... That um, Yasuhiro yeah, so Mitsuda's own printing would uh, the not have, have the same clipping. Uh, instead, it <laughs> had a really strange ordering of the tracks. Um, so, the DTQ release it has these tracks in a basically chronological order, which I prefer. I prefer that ordering 
very much. It means that uh, the, the uh, tracks you hear early in the game, they will come early on the disc. Well, and, uh, well the first Maintain disc is basically the first half of the game, and yeah, you get the idea. But, um, Yasunori Mitsuda, in all his um, infinite wisdom, basically um, randomized the order. So, while the uh, sort of ending music. No, right, the ending songs. Uh, there are two actually. Um, like pop songs, ballad kind of thing. They are. Um, on the first disc, but the ending uh, instrumental music is fine too. Uh, I don't understand that at all. I, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I fully, uh, well, I mean, I, I confess, I do not understand that. That's just, um, that's just the way it is. Uh, however, that uh, Mitsuda release it has a few bonus tracks and uh, some notable re-recordings using a different ensemble and instrumentation of uh, tracks. And uh, as opposed to the DigiCube release, uh, Yasunori Mitsuda actually uh, mans the piano on a few of these pieces. Um, and I honestly don't think many of those um, <laughs> re-recordings actually uh, sound better. Or I mean, uh, if they are, um, well, I, I, I mean, I, I do not enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoy listening to um, the DigiQ tracks with all their um, drawbacks, such as they may be. Um, but the novelty of hearing uh, Mitsuda at the piano, you, really you know, this I... is a good idea? Well... Okay, so it, <laughs> that's really not a very big deal either. But, um, I, I like that. Um, I like that kind of thing. It, 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 uh, it makes it feel more special to listen to, for me. I mean, if you... Uh, if this doesn't happen for you, I mean, that's... Okay, I... Um, Okay, yeah, that's just fine. I will give it to you. Um, but if you're gonna buy, uh, well, holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, what I was trying to say, if you're looking to buy either of these two uh, releases, I'd say buy the lot, buy both. <laughs> uh, there is one completely new track. At least one new. Uh, a World to Be Born, I think it's called. Which is on uh, a disc one of the... Oh shit, we got the uh, point one slot. Uh, <laughs> okay, well... Uh, that track I was talking about, the uh, A World to Be Born. Okay, let's go on. I think it is... Extremely beautiful. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not high drama, it's not... Uh, Poignant, it's not um, sleazy, <laughs> well, I mean, or just over the top in any way. It's just uh, pretty music. You, you can enjoy that in its own right, so, uh, well. And I, I think that's actually the only way to get that track is to, well, buy that disc. And I don't think we ever released it in another compilation. Um. This is not a boat cutscene, so uh, it's fine if I sit down. Well, yeah, basically, those two uh, soundtracks, they are still good music, and, uh, uh, well, people will say that uh, at least the Procyon re-release did, did not have a very good recording quality. As I said, I can't hear the difference myself, and I have some pretty good headphones. So, um, well, I also have a pretty good, <laughs> good uh, listening equipment, so I should 
to be able to tell the difference. But I can't. So make of that what you will. Um, I go. Uh, but yeah, I'm not uh, going to say that uh, there is no discrepancy in the recording quality, but um, a lot of your percep perception of the quality of the recording is uh, subjective uh, experience, I mean, uh, subjective listening on your part. And uh, as I said, a lot of these tracks are uh, essentially the same. Between the two releases, so uh, um, well, I mean, here I'm, I'm just lifting my arms, shrugging. It's, it doesn't really make a difference. By both soundtracks, by both releases, just <laughs> buy them in any quantity. It's good music. Uh, now we are just about to fight that big red crabby thing. Um. Going to try. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, I could do that for um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay, no, 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 no. I. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game, for making me seem like a uh, stupid son of a bitch. Um. Okay, so what I did now is put Cosmos in the front row, which could be a problem because Cosmos does not have a healing um, spell, but you can use Medkit S's. Uh, well, let me just do this stats as well. Well, in case you're wondering, I will cut the episode before I engage the boss. Now I'm just setting up. Um, oh, this is actually nice. Uh, this is a... Okay, well, no, it's <laughs> not nice. Uh, I could transfer Medica all to Chaos and um, it would be even better. Instead, I mean the uh, speed, quarter to high, uh, you should try to boost that tech level as well. Uh, I'm not using this, and we can't really do anything with the others, so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna hold off on using that. Okay, now for skills. Okay. Right. 
we are good to go. See you in the next episode where the boss shall receive some 